Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. Hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to see some interview questions on digital electronics. This will be the part three of digital electronics interview questions. So if you are interested, please do watch this video till the end because it is going to be very useful. I have included some uh, little bit advanced questions in today's video. Uh, because if you are attending core company interviews or for that matter any competitive examination on electronics companies these questions will be surely useful so please watch the video till the end also if you are seeing the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to the channel let's see the questions one by one the first question i have included is what is the difference uh, difference between Combinational circuit and sequential circuit. This is two terms which we often hear in digital electronics. Okay, what is combinational circuit? What is sequential circuit? Combinational circuits are circuits in which there is no memory required. I'll be including an image here for combinational circuits like MUX, DMUX, encoder, decoder, etc., or adders or subtractors. Whatever input you are going to give, it will be taken to the output side. It will be performing some logical operations uh, and it will be giving you an output. Memory is not required. For example, the case of MUX. What will be, uh, what type of combinations we are giving in the input side based on the select lines, you will be getting a output. There is no memory required. Okay. Now, when considering the sequential circuits like shift registers or counters, there the previous state is also important so memory is required okay so talking about the speed combinational circuits are faster but due to the presence of this memory elements and due to little bit complexity sequential circuits are slower and also uh, talking about the design difficulty combinational circuits are easy to design sequential are little bit difficult to design clock for combinational circuits clock input is not required but uh, for sequential, clock input is required. Combinational circuits like MUX or DMUX, there is no memory required. But for counters, we know there is memory elements or memory is required. Okay, previous states uh, or previous uh, output uh, or input is also been affecting the working of the circuit. So the examples of combinational circuits, I will repeat once again, MUX, DMUX, encoder, decoder, adder, subtractor, these are combinational circuits. Whereas uh, shift registers and counters are sequential circuits. Okay, so this is the difference between combinational circuit and sequential circuit. Next, moving on to the next question, which is what is a K-map? Okay, so K-map is a very commonly heard term. What is K-map? K-map is actually the pictorial representation of a truth table or a logical expression okay so in kmap you can find various cells each term is represented as min term or max term and each term is represented with the help of these cells okay now by this method we can directly reduce the boolean function that is the main uh, attraction of this kmap or uh, karnov map it is the expansion of kmap so this kmap will be a representation or a pictorial representation we know it is like a table okay there is various cells and each cell will be representing some terms in the boolean expression and based on the value present in it zeros or ones we will be uh, combining the values and then we'll be reducing the boolean expression or logical expression okay this type of pictorial representation is called a k map i'll be showing a k map here also you can see what is a k-map okay the next question is what is a flip-flop and what are the different types of flip-flops used you can actually answer this question in a very simple way flip-flop are one type of a sequential circuit we have already seen what are sequential circuits right now this uh, uh, flip-flop can store one bit okay so this uh, it will be storing one bit at a time so this type of sequential circuit is flip-flop what are the different type of flip-flops used JK flip-flop, SR, D flip-flop and toggle flip-flop. Names should be very clear. JK, SR, toggle or T and D. Okay, so these are the types of flip-flops generally used in digital circuit. The next question is related with number system. It is also very important because uh, it is actually the representation uh, in number system. Okay, so what is the difference between bit, nibble, byte and word? 
A person who is studying digital electronics should be knowing this because it is very. The next question is, what is the difference between bit, nibble, byte, and word? Okay, so bit means one. Uh, it will be only having one digit. It can be zero or one. That is called a bit, single bit. Okay, it can be zero or one because it is digital electronics. Bit means can be zero or one. Now, what is nibble? Nibble means four bits together. It will be combination of four bits. Four four bits taken together will be say it as a nibble. Byte means just like we have studied in uh, 80511 byte of data or one uh, byte. It is eight bits. Eight bits is called one byte. Now, word. Word is a combination of various or several amount or several number of bytes. So this is the difference between bit, nibble, byte and a word. Okay. So these type of questions are very, very important because when you are designing something in digital electronics or in digital circuits, this uh, size of the data or size of the word or size of the uh, variable really matters. So the next question is, what is the difference between Bohr, Newman and Harvard architecture? So this is a uh, very commonly asked question in all interviews and in uh, even in my interview preparation videos, I have talked about these questions more. So uh, what is the difference between Von Neumann and Harvard architecture? So it mainly differs in the arrangement of memory. Von Neumann is considered to be a little bit primitive uh, type of architecture. In Von Neumann, both the instructions and the data are stored together on a single place. Okay, so the, uh, the possibilities of congestion uh, is more when uh, there is time for accessing the memory because the data is also stored in one place and instructions are stored together with the data so it's not considered as a very best practice but it is one of the uh, what do you say you can say the primitive type uh, architecture harvard architecture is little bit more organized where instructions are stored as separate memory data is stored in a separate memory so this is the main difference between Harvard and Von Neumann architecture and also for accessing data and instruction there is two separate best. Okay, so that is uh, the difference between Von Neumann and Harvard architecture. So that's all about today's video. We have seen some uh, questions from digital electronics. Hope you are uh, finding these questions useful. It will be surely useful for your interviews or even in your competitive examinations. We will be continuing this series if you want me to put more and more videos on various interview preparations. If you want some other topics, please mention that in the comment section. We will be doing that. So if you found the video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.